Welcome back. This is the brand new DJI Mini 4 Pro and I've got the battery charged as well as the remote controller and I'm going to show you how you set up the remote controller for usage with the DJI Mini 4 Pro. First of all, you of course want to insert the battery into the DJI Mini 4 Pro. So it's all charged. The controller is also all charged. So you will want to start the controller up by first clicking soft and then clicking long on the on button. Maybe you can hear it, the fans are going on and the DJI logo appears. Welcome to DJI RC2. Now you can select the language, then you have to agree to the terms of use and then you will select your country, which in my case is Switzerland. Next. And then you can select your Wi-Fi and enter the, the information. Once you connect it to the Wi-Fi, click Next. Then you can select your time zone. Which in my case is Amsterdam, Berlin. Select Next. The time zone is correct. And then you have to log into your DJ account. If you don't have any, click create account. I have one, so I log in with my phone number or email address that I registered. If your login is successful, you can activate the device, uh, which will be linked to your email address then. Welcome. So it guides you through the instructions of how to use the DJI RC2. So swipe horizontally to go back. Then you have the left dial and the right dial. The left dial is to adjust the gimbal. And the right dial is to zoom the camera. You will later have the option to customize these um, dials. So don't worry about it now. Then you have the record button here to record the video. And you have the shutter to take a picture. Just press softly to focus and then press again to take the picture. Then here you have to return to home. If you press and hold this button, the drone will come back to where it started. And if you just press once here, the drone will pause and hover. Here you have the choice between the three different flight modes, cinematic for a slower speed, normal for the normal speed, and sports for the very speedy flight without obstacle avoidance. Then on the back of the remote you have two custom buttons that you can customize, the C1 and C2. And then it tells you what the LED indicator means. Green means aircraft is connected. This here. Right now it's red, which means the aircraft is not connected. And if it's yellow, it means that the firmware update failed. And here it tells you how to transmit optimally. So you can adjust the antennas. And then control the drone like this. Or if the drone is above you, you can lay the antennas flat and control it like that to have optimal reach. Then we can continue.
DJ will collect all of these informations, click next. And if you want to join the DJ product improvement project, you can click join, otherwise click not now. And then you have some tutorials in the academy, which I don't do since I already flew the drones. But you can do that. How do I fly the aircraft? Where should I go for my first flight? How do I fly safely, etc. Now I already have a DJI aircraft, so I will click OK, go to the connection guide. OK, it guides you step by step through. So we should unfold the front and rear aircraft arms. Just like that and then remove the gimbal protector. You can do that here. Then slide the battery into the compartment. We already did that, like this. Short press the aircraft power button and then press and hold it again to power on. So short until the LED lights up and then press and hold. It will boot up for the first time. It will boot up. And as you can see, I can activate the DJI device which I will do. Activation successful, done. No, right now I don't want the DJI Care refresh. You have to purchase that within two days and um, you will get two replacements if there is water damage or if it's uh, flown away or if there's any other damage to the aircraft. There's already a new firmware available. I will update the device, which will take some time. Once it has completed the upgrade, it wants to have your feedback, I click no. And then you can insert the sticks, which are located on the back side of the RC2. You just have to screw them in until it is tight. And then you're ready to go. Just power on your drone Go somewhere safe. So go somewhere outdoor where you have lots of space and where it is not windy for your first time. And there you have it. You can see the image of the drone. And there you have the settings. You can tell it what to do if it detects an obstacle. Should it break? Should it bypass the obstacle? Or do you want to turn the obstacle sensors off? You can set some return to home settings. Auto return to home altitude. I see something that is confusing. It is limited to 120 meters. 
on the DJ Mini 3 Pro it was not limited. Um, it was, could go up to 500 meters. So I will check it out if it can only go up to 120 meters now that, ha that it has the C0 certification. AR settings, this is something new. Maximum altitude 120 meters. It seems to be hard programmed into it. I will check it out. Auxiliary LED. Maybe this is the LED on the bottom. Let's check it out if I set it to on or off. Doesn't seem to make a difference right now. Then you can select the unit. Stick mode 2 means that you push this up to make the drone go higher. You can set the format of the photos, I will set it to raw. You can set the aspect ratio, I will set it to 4 by 3, since this is the bigger file. And you can set your resolution from either 12 or 48 megapixels. You can select a peaking level so that it displays um, the objects that are in focus. I will set it to low. And I will also activate grid lines like this so that I can take pictures with the rule of thirds. And the overexposure warning I will also set to on. To make the SD card available, you have to insert an SD card into your drone first. I would recommend going with something like the SanDisk Extreme Pro with at least 256 gigabytes. This is the micro SD card, you will have to insert it here, upside down, and push it in. And then it detects that you have inserted an SD card, and you confirm that, and you can format the SD card for the first time. Now it's formatted, we have 238 gigabytes available. And yeah, the auto settings seem to be fine. There are no updates available. So you can go to a spot and start flying with your new drone to power it off. Do it uh, like on power on, click once and then click long. Here as well, click, click once and then click long. Until all the lights are off, then you have safely powered off your drone.